Hey guys, welcome to Sing the Waking Show. I'm Jessica from Sing. This is Aiden. Hey guys. Oh, Aiden, I noticed there are some beakers and boats here. I will do any experiments today. Uh, yes. Uh, this week we got uh, three new sensors for water quality. Um, so at first we've got this uh, pH sensor. Uh, we will do an experiment about this pH sensor. Okay, let's start. Okay. Um, first we've got three bottoms uh, liquid. This is uh, acidic, uh, neutral, and the alkaline. This is uh, acidic liquid, which the pH value is 4. And this is a neutral a liquid, which the pH value is 6.86. At last, we've got this alkaline liquid, and the pH value is 9.80. Okay, uh, then let's pour this liquid into the speaker. Um, acidic liquid. Okay, we've got a uh, wild terminal. We will use this pH sensor mm -hmm. with our wild terminal. Uh, first, we need to power the wild terminal. Okay. Plug the... I want to put this device directly into the newspaper as well. Yes, we'll use this one. Okay. All those three sensors need to be celebrated before use. We've already did the separation work, so we just need to put this probe into this acid liquid. The pH value of this acid liquid is 4. It changes slowly. Okay, it's stable at 4.25. Then we just need to take out of this prop and use a napkin to clean it. Every time we did this test, we need to use a napkin to clean this prop. Next, let's put the prop into this. This is the buffer liquid. And this is the right way. The probe should be placed in the buffer for a period of time after each movement. Neutral liquid. The pH value of this neutral liquid is about 6.86. And it's stable at 7.09. At last, we've got the alkaline liquid. The pH value of this alkaline liquid is 9.18. Well, it's stable at 9.20. That's all about this experiment. Uh, next, we've got another water quality sensor. The ORP sensor. Oh, what does ORP mean? ORP sensor means oxidation reduction potential sensor. It measures the activity of oxidizer and reducer in a liquid. It measures the ability of a lake or river to clean itself or break down the waste. The groove ORP sensor works for both 3.3 voltage and 5 voltage system. The groove connectors and the standard BMP interface makes it easy to use and very suitable for Arduino and Raspberry Pi application. Well, that's all about the ORP sensor. Next, we've got the Groove EC sensor. The Groove EC sensor means the electrical conductivity sensor. It measures the electrical conductivity in a liquid and it is usually used for agriculture and water quality testing. 
This sensor is also compatible with both 3.3 and 5 voltage system with the groove connector and the standard BNC Pro interface, it is very easy to use and suitable for Arduino and Raspberry Pi project. Okay, that's all about those three water quality sensors. At last, uh, we've got a new I2C motor driver. Aiden, I remember we have the similar one before, right? So what's the difference? Mm, yes. Uh, we have an uh, old um, s motor driver, but uh, we switched to a new supplier with a new process, so the price was significantly reduced. Well, that's a very great news. Yes. Well, um, that's all the content about the new product this week. Okay, for the next, we have some updates information for the new product. What's the first one? First, we have news for Odyssey. Uh, here we've got the Odyssey X uh, NE6 board, yeah. and here we've got the Coro accelerator. Oh, the, it's from the Google, right? Right, it's the M.2 um, B key and MP. Mm -hmm. So we can use this accelerator with the Odyssey board. Uh, we have a tutorial, tutorial uh, just below this link. Remember to check it if you are interested in this. This is about the other news. Okay, so do you have some updated information about the well terminal? Well, we have two news mm -hmm. for well terminal. The first news is that well terminal will go into support circuit Python. Oh, circuit Python. I do remember the well terminal of um, support the Arduino Pi, right? So what's the difference between Arduino Pi and the circuit Python? Well, you got the point. Uh, we think both Arduino and Circuit Python is a very great uh, yeah. programming language. So we don't want to force our users to choose. We want to provide more options for our users. So you can use whatever language you like with Wild Terminal. Definitely uh, experience for open source. Yes. Uh, and the second news is that mm -hmm. um, in the first City Weekly show, Eric yes. bring us uh, this a multi-channel gas sensor. I remember that. Uh, so today we will uh, show you a demo. Okay. Uh, what kind of gas is uh, this sensor can detect? Uh, let's plug the Type-C cable into the wire terminal and they turn on. And then we just need to plug the multi-channel gas sensor into the wire terminal with screw cable, screw connector. And here we've got uh, we've got a wheel C and we've got a carbonic oxide and etc. Okay, that's about the multi channel gas sensor. Okay, that's all the news this week. Okay, the summer is coming in Shenzhen, so hope everyone stay safe and stay healthy. See you next time. Bye bye. Bye bye.